The OIG clearly found that inappropriate scheduling practices are systemic throughout the VA. The OIG's interim findings make it all the more urgent for VA to come clean and fully comply with our subpoena. Veterans' health is at stake, and I will not stand for a department cover-up. At this point, given their pattern of stonewalling committee requests, I am not at all convinced that they have conducted a thorough and comprehensive search for responsive records. I know that VA is withholding documents relating to at least three relevant communications by claiming attorney-client privilege. Does anybody at the table know why those notes have not been delivered? Ms. Mooney? My understanding is that upon receipt of the subpoena on May 8th, uh, they began, the Office of General Counsel began um, responding to the subpoena and dedicated a significant number of employees and resources to that effort in pulling responsive email records for 27 individuals. Let me interrupt I you. also Let me, understand. excuse me. Let me interrupt you. Why have we not received all of the documents requested in the subpoena, even though we got a letter from the general counsel late last night that said VA was done? I understand that general counsel has held a very small number of documents for attorney-client privilege. The question again is, have VA complied with the terms of the subpoena? It's my understanding that VA has provided the committee with relevant information in response to that subpoena. Can you, can you say anything without reading your prepared notes? Sir, this is in, within the Office of General Counsel. General Counsel would be the appropriate party to ask. And we did ask the Office of General Counsel to come brief members last week, and the General Counsel declined. Until VA understands that we're deadly serious. You can expect us to be over your shoulder every single day. And while I have your attention, why have you not told this committee yet who was disciplined in Augusta, Georgia and Columbia, South Carolina where nine veterans died because they were on a waiting list for colonoscopies? As you know, Mr. Chairman, in, in the last five years, the Office of Congressional Legislative Affairs does, has, re, has that, responded to over 100,000 requests for information. Ma'am, veterans died. Get us the answers, please. I understand that, Mr. Chairman, and I will look. That's what you said that three request. months ago. This has been going on since January. Since January, VA won't tell you the truth.